What's up guys, Chris here from Mainly Mesh. Today I'm finally bringing you my review of the brand new Stallion 700 lacrosse head from STX. And boy, this thing is a beauty. In the past, there's kind of been this perception that I've been a little bit angsty regarding the STX brand. Honestly, I think what had frustrated me about past head designs for them is I knew they had so much engineering potential if they could just put all of the different aspects together into one head, I knew they would knock it out of the park. And the Stallion 700 follows up the new Hammer 500 head and really just nails it. All brand new design effects aside, this head is more or less the same face shape, same offset as the Stallion 500, Stallion 550 head. So don't expect anything different in terms of the stringability. It's got the same number of sidewall holes. All that stuff's pretty similar. So any of the same pockets that you had on the Stallion 550 will transfer over very nicely to the 700. So don't worry about that. From there though is where things get fun. The first thing that I was really excited to see that they introduced in the Hammer 500 is the brand new Speed Scoop. This might just be my favorite scoop on the market for a few reasons. It has this very smooth curve to it, but also really protects the top string in a way that no other head does. Team 22 and Gate slash Under Armour have a patent that, that does protect the top string holes pretty well. The command has it to an extent, but this speed scoop goes an extra step further and actually creates kind of this overhanging precipice, you could say, a little shield to protect those top string holds even further in a way that is really unmatched on the market. So this head is really going to allow the longevity of your pocket to increase as much as possible for any top string on the market. That sentence trailed off. The next most important thing is that STX was able to shave off a little bit of weight on this head as well. When I weighed it in earlier, it came in around 4.85 ounces, which is for kind of a high pocket focused head, something that you're really gonna wanna be careful of, of how heavy the head gets. Because if you're sitting at like 5.2 ounces, where the weight is already concentrated higher in the head and the ball is concentrated higher in the head, it's gonna feel like, like a pretty heavy stick overall once you get the ball in it. But they shaved this bad boy down to 4.85, which puts it right around the Maverick Optic, and it does feel really nice in your hands despite the ball sitting higher. So it's a great kind of combination of lightweight plus a higher pocket uh, that really I think is gonna suit you guys who like that two-handed cradle with the stick by your side and getting a nice rip. One thing I really liked that they altered on this head as far as stringability goes though is they actually lessened the width of the C channel a decent amount, which is something that, that I, I've been looking for for a while. Unfortunately, C channel is one of those things where I believe it was the first coring mechanism to come out on the market before Cortec, I think. Don't quote me on that, but C channel and Cortec came out around the same time. And C channel is great from an engineering perspective that I beam really you know allows you to cut weight without sacrificing rigidity, but having that that wide kind of flat section on the bottom was always kind of a pain for me to string. If you were tying an anchor knot, it would sit way too far in compared to the one, which would be sitting more on top and the knotted SIs wouldn't really stick. So they kind of reduced that C channel effect enough so that it can string a lot more easily in my opinion, uh, but not too much that they lose any, any stiffness. This head overall is very stiff, which is something I, I definitely look for nowadays. In the vertical component, it's nice and strong and horizontally, it's, it's stiff as well. You do have a little bit of play, so I'm not worried about it uh, you know, warping like crazy, but there is just enough play that, that it's going to be able to kind of absorb a check or two. I'm really interested to see how LSMs like this head. I think it could be uh, a pretty hard head to, to pass up from the LSM perspective, just because of the scoop, the overall strength, and it you know not pushing the weight too, too light. I think this is gonna hold up really, really well over time. I'm interested to see what you guys think there. Only other notes are really all aesthetic. They completely changed up the stereotypical throat profile, uh, something I think will you know completely eradicate any of the throat issues that we had with the Stallion 500. So that's a, just a really cool aesthetic. They added these kind of hexagonal details, almost honeycomb down by the throat, including this uh, little cord out section up on the scoop, which was really interesting, something that I thought might have weakened the scoop, but I haven't seen any indication of that. And overall, just have a really sleek profile, including a leather ball stop and gold lettering down by the throat. It's just a 
good looking head. I'm not sure if you saw any of their promo videos. I'll try to link to some of them down below. Um, but they did a really great job talking about the inspiration of this head coming from supercars and, and all these other cool things. So really it's, it's a, it's a looker and it's going to stand out on the field. If that's what you're into, um, this thing really does stand out with the gold STX up top as well. Uh, and it's, it's something that's probably going to make your friends a little jealous. They also added two screw holes down at the bottom, which is something they've been adding to more of their heads now, which is a great touch. Overall, I think it's the best head STX has ever made. They knocked it out of the park. It's just the right weight. Still has that nice stallion high pocket feel, really smooth, and they fixed the scoop. Sometimes the STX scoops were hit or miss. This is the best scoop they've ever made and potentially the best scoop on the market, especially as far as durability goes with that top string. So if you're into the stallion, you no longer have to stay away. It's only 90 bucks. I say only because STX was riding that $110 price for a while. This is 90 bucks, so it's competitive with every other top tier head on the market, and this one's gonna be a really hot seller. If you like the Stallion, if you like a mid-high pocket head, this is something I would absolutely recommend. Uh, it's not something I would recommend if you do plan on cradling one-handed. It's just not really designed for that. If you're an LSM, this one's gonna be hard to beat. Okay, if you're if even even a deep pull, we say LSM all the time. This this should hold up for a deep pull as well. So I'm gonna I'm gonna try this out with one of our local deep pulls, see how it how it stands the test of time. But this thing's gonna be super lightweight on a pull compared to some of the other you know six and a half ounce heads out there. It's gonna be nice and light, super functional, have just enough pinch for you to have a lot of ball control without having too much pinch that you can't catch it. So I think this is gonna be a really solid option for that LSM. D member and you know maybe for for more of a uh, like I said two-handed midfielder shooting from the hip this could be a really solid option so thanks so much to STX for sending this bad boy over if you'd like to purchase one of these these go live today I think will be when I post the video on the 15th November 15th click the link in the bio down below if you'd like to purchase help me out and that's about it thanks so much for watching this guys make sure you guys like comment and subscribe ask any questions in the comments down below I'll catch you guys next time.